Good morning, everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me for our morning devotion today. You know, I would like to expand on Charlie's devotion from yesterday. You know, if you didn't see that one, I would encourage you to watch it first. I mean, she sang a really cool folksy version of the Lord's Prayer, and she talked about forgive us our sins. You know, th those of us who know Charlie, the last thing that comes to mind is what a wretched sinner she is. You know, no way, she's a sweetheart. So what she, could she be talking about when she said, we all need to confess our sins and ask for forgiveness? I think the confusion comes when we don't have a proper definition of sin or we oversimplify it, reducing sin to a few of what we consider the big sins, you know, and because we don't sleep around and haven't killed anybody lately, we think we're okay, right? You know, we judge our condition based on others. And in comparison, we are basically good moral people. You know, we don't get drunk and beat our wives or anything like that. So what are we to continually confess? You know, the Bible is a great commentator on itself, and it says, you know, we have a sin nature. Now, I don't think we need to ask forgiveness for that. We just need to accept Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf and start living out our new nature with the new heart he gives us. But even as believers, we're still left with this propensity to be you know, selfish and unloving. And here's the nature of sin. I think when we fully understand the depth of our depravity, we cry out like Paul did, Oh, what a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of sin and death? <laughs> Jesus will. But you know, the actual definition for the word sin is missing the mark. It's kind of like an archery term. And that might be a good starting point for our confession. Uh, but you know, we need to know what the target is that we're missing to be clear, to be totally clear on this. You know, moral perfection is what's required, and we all fall way short of this. But there is another aspect of sin that I think we rarely mention. We were created to glorify God in everything. In my work, in my marriage, in all my relationships, in my TV watching, in my hobbies, in my free time, in my thought life. Well, in everything. This is our position to glorify Him. He is God, and we are His creation, right? This is the target we're all missing, glorifying God in all we say and do and think. So sin involves the refusal of, of mankind to accept our God-given position between Creator and His lower creation. We were created to worship Him. And we exchanged this for the worship of creation, including the worship of self and its resulting pride and sense of entitlement. All this is sin. When we realize the reason we exist is to glorify God. It's not about me. It's not about I. It's not about number one, oh me, mo oh my. Oh, sorry. My country roots pop out every once in a while. But when we realize it's not about me, and we realize we exist to glorify God, we are in a good position to repent, confess our sins, and look at life differently. It's not about what I want, or what makes me happy, or what makes me look good. All this is sin. It's all about Him. And we make life about anything else, we're missing the mark. It's sin. Okay, sin is in opposition of all that's good. Maybe that's why it's so hard to define. It only exists as a parasite of good things. Sin creates nothing, but rather it perverts, spoils, and destroys all the good things God has made. A sin is so seductive, we need to constantly be on guard that separates us from God and others. So in humility, we need to keep watching. You know, John wrote, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Jesus. And he taught us to pray. You know, Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. It's not a one and done kind of thing. You know, Charlie mentioned this yesterday. There are sins we commit, there are sins of our thoughts, and there are sins of omission, where we know the good we ought to do, but we don't do it. Because when we fail to glorify God, we're in this category. But it may be the worst one of all. When we think about all that Jesus did for us, if we fail to glorify Him, oh, what a wretched man I am. Father, forgive us our many sins that we've committed against You failing to give you the glory and exalting ourselves instead. Father, forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Okay, sin's a tough topic to, talk, to, to tackle in five minutes or less.
is always crouching, made to attack and steal our joy. Be on guard and glorify God with all you say and do and think. Love you guys. Have a great day.